Welcome to Read It Again. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on that subscribe button below. Hope you enjoy this book. Let's get started. Eddie the Bully by Henry Cole Eddie was a bully. A great big bully. He was mean any way he could be, any time he could be. You're such a loser, he clucked at Rose when she came in last. That was an easy one, he said with a laugh when Tony had trouble with a math problem. You were born in a roach motel, he sneered at Russell. He hid Anthony's homework. He splattered paint on Melissa's art project. He tripped Emma as she was getting on the bus and off the bus. Fat, he jeered. Skinny, he jeered. Average, he jeered. Nobody was safe. He was a good reader, but nobody wanted to sit anywhere near him during library time. And nobody tagged him during Person Person Monkey. He's mean, Angela said to Marco. Really mean, Carmen said to Sam. Really, really mean, they all agreed. He was mean any time he could be, any way he could be. I've had enough, Miss Henshaw said, ruffled. Time out, Eddie. I've had enough, Mr. Fowler said, peeved. Time out, Eddie. I've had enough, Miss Kluckner said, exasperated. Time out, Eddie. But during time out, Eddie thought of other mean things to do. One morning, Miss Henshaw made an announcement. Class, we have a new student starting today, she said. I want all of you to make her feel welcome. She glanced at Eddie. All of you. The classroom door opened. Class, this is Carla, Miss Henshaw said. She pointed to an empty desk. Carla, you may sit right there. All eyes were on Carla as she made her way to her seat right next to Eddie's. Uh-oh, here it comes, Amy whispered. Carla's going to get a real zinger, Tony whispered. Eddie's going to let her have it, Ben whispered. Everyone held their breaths. Carla squeezed herself into her desk. Eddie's eyes narrowed. He grinned an evil grin. He opened his mouth to speak. I love your sweater, Carla gasped, feasting her eyes on Eddie. My, ah, uh, Eddie stuttered. I can tell you have great fashion sense. Carla continued brightly. Us fashionistas should stick together. Eddie blinked, glancing down at his sweater. It was his favorite. Hey, let's do lunch, explained Carla. I noticed on today's menu that we're having mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. I, I love mac and cheese too, Eddie said, feeling a little excited. Then whoever gets to the cafeteria first saves the other a seat, Carla squealed. Okay? Uh, okay, replied Eddie. I bet everybody wants to be your friend, said Carla. Eddie gulped. His face felt hot. Ah. Uh, you probably get picked first for teams all the time. Eddie glanced around the room. The whole class was looking at him. Eddie felt miserable. Suddenly, he wished he hadn't been so mean all the time. He wished he hadn't made fun of Tony in math class. He wished he hadn't spilled paint all over Melissa's picture. He wished he hadn't called everybody names. He wished, he wished he could start over. It's really tough being a new kid, said Carla. Will you help me make friends? Eddie brightened up. I'd love to, he cackled. Carla beamed at him. I knew you'd be a good friend, she gushed. Eddie felt something, something inside, something good. It felt good. Good to be nice. He smiled, a great big smile. And from then on, he was a good friend. Any way he could be, 
any time he could be. The end. Thank you so much for listening and following along. If you like this book, please give it a thumbs up and come back soon to read it again.